drink? Okay. All right. Same as yesterday, we'll open it up in a statement from Coach and open it up for questions. Yeah, I mean, obviously tough when it ends the way it did for us today, coming out of last night and then today. I thought we came out ready to play. I think the box score, the amount of hits that we got, wasn't indicative of the swings we took early in the game. Obviously, pressure started them out. Um, Flotta threw the ball really well, and they played outstanding defense all day. And then the middle innings, that bats got away from us. Um, so, but at the end, I thought we squared balls up again. I mean, Edgar lines out, Basil hits a homer they bring back. I mean, it's just one of those days how baseball goes sometimes. And, uh, you know, just a, obviously it's always tough when it ends, but it doesn't take away from the historic run that this senior class has been on. They've really rewrote uh, what Nichols baseball is, is looked at on the national stage. And I'm, I'm grateful to them for that. I think our whole community is. Gary Smith with NOLA.com. This was a lot different than the Boston College loss last year. You were, you were right in there. Just what did Michael Cabeda give you? Oh, man, he's a tremendous competitor. Can't say enough about that. He gave us everything he had. And I think all these guys did. And that's the... That's the part I think sometimes everybody's looking for like a storyline and a loss and why he lost. They just played better than us today. They got a couple of hits. It was a really good game. And, you know, I think I thought Michael and Flotta, both of them matched pitch for pitch, blow for blow. And it was, it was a really good baseball game. I mean, take the end of the season out of it. That was a really special game to be a part of on a really important stage. And hats off to them for getting the job done. Um, Basil, what was what was making Luke Flotta so difficult for you guys to, to get a whole lot done against today? Um, I don't know if it was uh, if it was pressure or we were just trying to do too much, but um, we had, like you said, we had a lot of good barrels. They played really good defense, and uh, if you play really good defense behind a guy that's you know fit up the zone, then uh, you're hitting it right to people. You can't really do nothing about it. And and, and Edgar, how how tough is it? You guys have done great things the last two years. How tough is it to go out like this when you were so close to being in the winners bracket? Oh uh, yeah, it's tough. I feel like uh, we squared a lot of balls up, and uh, Mikey obviously pitched really well. So uh, we expect to win games like that. But it seemed like uh, every ball was just going at everybody, and uh, it's just baseball sometimes, and you got to live with it. And uh, we just didn't come up with enough knocks. Mike, the, the close play on the double play in the eighth inning. You talked to the umpires. There, I watched the replay. There didn't seem to be a good, clear angle. But what, what was your? Did you? Will you allow the challenge that? No, it's not a challenge we'll play. I just thought the home plate umpire should be making the call in front of the bag like that. I think he's got a better angle at it. I mean, you got to think the first baseman's body and his glove are in front of the umpire. So he told me they made a decision before the game that whoever the closest umpire was going to make the call. Look, it's a hard call for those guys, too. I think it should be a reviewable call. I've never understood why some calls are reviewable and some calls aren't. Obviously, it wouldn't have mattered. You said they didn't have an angle anyways. So it just didn't go our way. And, and then you mentioned barreling up pretty good late with the last and that was a pretty good example that that was really crushed and the uh, guy made a great catch at the wall. Was that kind of the story? <laughs> yeah, today, I mean, you go look at the line. We had four hits, we struck out one time. I mean, the guys mm -hmm. were putting the ball in play. We couldn't find holes and, uh, you know, it's baseball sometimes. Again, like they, they make unbelievable play after unbelievable play defensively. And I don't want to take away from their effort today. I think a lot of times people do that. Hats off to them. They outplayed us today and uh, it was a really good baseball game. And unfortunately we, we were on the wrong side of it. Yeah, did both of you guys, what, what do you feel like is the legacy? Of Nichols baseball, the way you guys have kind of turned the program around. Um, well, first off, we're gritty. We'll fight you for it, and uh, it comes from the leadership from the top. And when he, whenever he first got here, it was a lot of hard, difficult conversations. And uh, whenever you're trying to change the program around, it's, it's going to be like that. You got to get the guys out that don't want to be a part of it and bring the right guys in. So um, from now on, you know, Nichols State, everybody's go, you know. They go know who we are, and that's something that we wanted to do, and we accomplished. So uh, we came up short to, from our our goal, but I mean, um, we just stayed moving forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, changing the program is just something that's very easy, and uh, to be part of that group is really special. And uh, I know the guys will be back here next year, and uh, just playing for the same goal we fought for this year and last year, and obviously we made some history. Um, now it's just about. The younger guys stepping up and uh, taking the next steps towards that goal. Mike, did you find out more about Jacob Myers? Yeah, he's got a bleak strain. Okay. He's gonna be fine. He just needs some rest. Thanks a lot, guys. Awesome.